Reproductive Laboratory of Advanced Fertility Center of Texas is under direction of Dr. Dmitry Zortsev, a reproductive embryologist and a past president of the American College of Embryology. Dr. Zortsev made a major contribution to discovering the mechanism and improving results of intracytoplasmic sperm injection, also known as ICSI. And this work has been recognized by many, including Robert Edwards, who recently received a Nobel Prize in Medicine. Dr. Zortsev has helped to set up many IVF and ICSI programs around the globe, including programs in Belgium, Italy, Russia, Brazil, Israel, and the United States. Our laboratory is certified by the College of American Pathologists and accredited by the American College of Embryology. Case and Reproductive Laboratory begins a day before the patient comes for the eggs retrieval, when an embryologist, in this case our laboratory supervisor, Pei Chi Sai, sets up specially formulated medium for embryo culture. Every dish is labeled with the patient's identifying information. Dr. Dmitry Zortsev prepares his own custom microtools for every case. Even though a vast majority of IVF clinics use commercially available microtools, we have an in-house expertise to prepare our own instruments, which makes micromanipulations with eggs and embryos safer and more effective. During, during egg harvesting, an embryologist searches for patient's eggs in the follicular fluid aspirated by a reproductive endocrinologist. Once eggs are harvested, they are stored in the incubator before insemination. Sperm sample is analyzed to determine if it has any problems which could be responsible for infertility. Andrology laboratory technologist Michael Blight will also prepare the sample for insemination. For insemination using ICSI, a dish with micro droplets for sperm and eggs are prepared. During ICSI, each egg is injected with a single sperm cell. ICSI has revolutionized IVF by virtually ensuring fertilization, a critical step of IVF treatment. In the morning of the day after egg retrieval, eggs are checked for the sign of fertilization and those fertilized left for further culture. In many cases, patients can increase their chance of a healthy pregnancy using pre-implantation genetics diagnosis, also known as PGD, which enables to identify genetically competent embryos, which are normal embryos, and eliminates abnormal embryos from the transfer. Dr. Zortsev has made several improvements to PGD, which have been recommended by European Society of Human Reproduction in its best practices guidelines. Dr. Zortsev is one of the most experienced experts in this field. He has performed embryo biopsies since 1991 and has made numerous improvements to the technique, including the development of a PGD holder, which assures accurate specimen placement into a collection tube. When embryos are selected for the transfer, they are loaded into the catheter and handed over to the doctor to be transferred into the uterus. Depending on the specific patient's circumstances, Embryos are transferred into the patient's uterus on day two, three, five, or six when they are at the blastocyst stage. Those embryos that are not transferred but continue to develop are cryopreserved using vitrification, the most advanced freezing technique available today. Our reproductive laboratories make every effort to help you to achieve pregnancy because we know that you will be the best parents.